So we are here live with Cindy, fresh out of quarantine. Now, when you're in quarantine, you said something about your clothes not fitting, like? Uh, I gained some weight yeah. during quarantine, and now I don't fit the clothes that I put before okay. all this started. So prior to quarantine, what were you doing for, for physical activity? Um, actually, not too much. Okay. Uh, bike riding. Um, yeah. I haven't really done anything about Okay. Yeah. Because you came back when you work out. I'm surprised that you say that because you're you actually go pretty good. <laughs> so I, were you an athlete before or something like? Uh, I work with these guys here. Okay. Gruel Masters Fitness, your fountain of youth resistance training. There we go. Personal trainer. You were a personal trainer. I was with a personal trainer. Okay, so that makes sense. Strictly women. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was awesome. So that's why you can crush it. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> did you learn anything about yourself while you're in quarantine? Um. Like some people have a. You know, like, this is what I discovered. Did you pick up any new habits or? Uh, <laughs> um, I picked up, I, I'm going to say, <laughs> well, I don't know, cooking. Okay. Um, learning to cook better. Okay. And eat better. Yeah. Um, as much exercise as I could possibly do with a sorny. Okay. Um, riding bike. Nothing really out of the ordinary that right. I hadn't done. Yeah. Um, went through physio. Okay. During quarantine or don't that? No, that was before quarantine. Before, right. Before, yeah, yeah. right, so how's it you feeling now? It's still sore, but okay. working on it. Doing my exercise is for it. Yeah. yeah. So did you get hit with the quarantine like everybody else? Like I know you and I was still training on the blue, mm -hmm. but then it was just something about like it was like a rite of passage to eat bad. And there was like two weeks where I would just eat everything. Actually, I was actually pretty good. Really? Yeah, I was okay. trying to keep the good stuff in and the yeah. bad stuff out. It's hard to do because my other family members don't do that, so it was, okay. I find it very hard and challenging to eat properly. Yeah. If everyone else in my house is not not eating. Yeah. So how do you get around that then? Um, basically I just for suppers um, I avoid starches. Mm -hmm. um, I try to eat proteins, veggies, fruits. Uh, drink a lot of water. Are you cooking two meals? One for you, one for the household. Um, sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes I do that. Okay. Because some of the foods they make are what I want to eat. I want to eliminate some stuff out of the house, but it's really hard. Okay. People eat fat food in my house, and yeah, and so, they're not and they're not on the same like uh, I don't know how to say it. They're not on the same path that I'm at. Right, right. And we can always stand something in the house. <laughs> okay. So how would you like? What would you recommend to somebody that maybe they're going at their journey because that happens a lot, right? Yep. Where it's it's so rare to find two couples in the same alignment. It doesn't mean that you're a bad couple, it just right. means that sometimes one person wants something different than the other. Right. So what would you recommend for somebody that is maybe going through the same thing where they're into a fitness journey but maybe their spouse or kids are not? Um, in some ways maybe try to incorporate them into your workouts. Okay. Um, just try to get them involved slowly yeah. and if it's not for them then it's not for them. Okay. Um, try to eat healthier. So basically let if they want to just tag along, they can tag along, right. but otherwise don't let it hinder you with your... If it works for you, it then, works, right? If it doesn't, then, you know what, just keep going, yeah. keep fighting, Yeah. right? I mean, I try to get my, my husband is slowly getting back into the cycling and yeah. he's a little overweight and he had a kidney transplant okay. a couple of years ago, so he's put on a few pounds and he could stand to lose some weight. Okay. <laughs> So how are you helping him with that? Just keeping him motivated. And okay. We got to do this. We got to get up. We got to go. Yeah. So by you keeping yourself in tip top shape, you're yes. able to go out and do the extras. So like you take care of yourself yeah. and then you take care of we. Leading by example. Right. So first it's me, then it's we. Yes. That makes complete sense. Yes. So what was your, this is your second week here. Second week. So you weren't with us prior to that, right? Nope. And so this is your second week. What is it like coming and working out with us? Yeah. Totally awesome. I feel like a million bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And it's only thirty minutes. It's awesome. Yeah. I like that. Have you been tracking your results at all? Photo or I've taken photos. Okay. Close. Um, <laughs> yeah. Close that I can fit into. Okay. <laughs> Working on getting back into those clothes. Okay, so we have what do we have? A pair of jeans or a shirt or something that you want to get back into? Mostly pants. 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 Like pants, not tights, because you can no, squeeze pants, in tights. Like jeans. But you can't get on jeans. jeans. Okay. I so you got that I, pair of jeans that's sitting in the closet, yes. that, that's the gold jeans? I bought them small, yeah. smaller than what I am now, so that I work towards that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
So what, what's the time frame? We're, we're, we're going um, live here right now. What's the time um, frame here for, to get in those jeans? I'm going to say uh, December. December? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get through summer. Yes. We're going to work out how many days a week are you committing to? As many as I can do. Five. Five days five a week? Six, yeah. Five or six days a week yes. here. All right. So you were doing some stuff on your own. What would you say is the biggest difference between doing it on your own and then coming here and working out with us here at Free Club? Lack of motivation. On your own? I, on my own, yeah. it's very hard to be motivated. Right. Um, I try, but sometimes it's really hard. Yeah. I, I work better with a group of people. Yeah. They keep you up and they keep you going. And it's the camaraderie of, mm-hmm. yeah, you can do this. Yeah. Just somebody telling you, yeah. you got this. Somebody believing in you. Right. Right, right. and that's key. And so the big question is, do you feel safe to be here? Absolutely. Yeah? Yes. Awesome. So there we have it. Cindy, thank you for your time. We just want to get a little bit of motivation out there to our Facebook followers. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. See you on the blue. Awesome.